we're going to start with a celebrity game, right? I don't know if you watched any of the highlights of it. There's two main things that come out of this. Number one, who are those celebrities? I don't know what <laughs> happened to the day of like Kevin Hart and like actual former NBA players, but that was a very confusing mix of celebrities. I'm not American though, so maybe that's why I'm out of touch. Mm. And B, the amount of random scoring rules, double points, four point line, et cetera, stuff, um, just just so hard to follow. And Richard Jefferson even made a point of it that like you have to understand the rules. I did not understand the rules. It made my viewing experience very difficult because I'm looking at people, I don't know who that is, and I'm looking at the scores and I don't understand what's going on. But you tell me what your thoughts were on the celebrity game. Well, my thoughts are limited to I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't really care when Kevin Hart used to play in the All Star game, because probably Kevin Hart was like the only player that actually knew who you know who was on the floor, what he sort of has on his resume. And you're absolutely right. I I do not. I had a look at the list of names on this year's uh, celebrity game, and I did not recognize. I'm gonna almost say less than ten percent of the names, if it, even ten percent. And I was like not interested to switch on. That's just what it is. So again, maybe if they're trying to get viewership from outside Australia, well, clearly it's going to be those guys that like to, you know, stay glued to their Instagram feeds and, you know, maybe under 25 or whatnot age bracket. But I don't fit in either category right now, nor am I in the US. So I guess you've lost me as a viewer that has any interest in your All-Star game, in your celebrity All-Star game. So what I'm going to do, because I think maybe the way we structure this is we critique it and then we maybe pitch a solution. I was watching that celebrity game thinking, we're talking about NBA All-Star Weekend. Why aren't we just using former NBA players as the celebrity? And then you think about it, and I'm sure there's issues with this, but the big three league, to me, feels like a great chance to showcase their talent and their names on that Friday night. Because when you're talking about former NBA players in the big three, I'm not sure how much you followed that, but that's where you actually have people who played in the NBA now playing this 3v3 Mm -hmm. variant. Mm -hmm something different right celebrities of nba not random celebrities but celebrities of nba to open the night showcase a different league a new product we saw some cross promotion with the WNBA, which we'll touch on soon but that well, would be it, almost what, 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 what are we taking this if just taking this as a wish list for a celebrity game why not just open it up 100%. to the world no, no, why, no. Why, going, why are we not? Going... No, what, what I'm saying is, that I would like to see from oh, a wish okay. perspective. Why would we not open up to celebrities around the world? Why not have a celebrities if you want to have a US celebrities versus world celebrities like that US world sort of format they played in the past? And then now, I don't know. Imagine you got say, oh, I'll pick a name out there. Say like uh, Messi came down and shoot around basketball. Wow. Like, you know, you'd probably be like, you know, can this guy play? You'd probably check that out. You know, whether that's part of his, you know, his contract or he's got any interest to participate or not, that's a whole nother question. But we're talking about a wish list scenario here. So now you're picking, say, 12 world celebrities, okay, from different areas around the world, man. I, I don't know. Like, let's say from Australia, I don't know, pick a footy player, man. Who do we like? Who's a, I don't know, bring Dusty Martin down there. Imagine Dusty Martin played in the NBA All-Star game, right? Like, you know, it'd be like Australia play guy, like, oh, you know, there'll, there'll be a news article on that on news.com.au. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. I think, you know what, just to, to sum it all up neatly, because we can't spend this much time on the celebrity game. Um, <laughs> I think your I think your analysis, we're going to probably, I reckon this point's going to come up a lot. It's about money. Why would I fly out to Indianapolis to play in an all-star game unless you're offering me a good amount of money? If I get hurt, how does that impact my money? And if I look silly playing basketball, how does that impact my money? I think people are so brand conscious and dependent on their brand that they have to make very sensible, safe decisions. And I think playing in an all-star game where you could accidentally hurt a competitor, accidentally hurt, say, a female if the females play again, you know, those kind of things just look bad that a celebrity just doesn't want to risk it anymore. And you know what? I reckon your PC comment is probably right in this sense it's just not worth going out playing a basketball game taking it too seriously you look like a loser right being terrible or trash you look like a loser i don't know know how you win in that scenario when i was still on on instagram there's that clip that goes around that um it's like some guy playing some girl like one-on-one and then it's like if you play hard against her you know you're a loser 
Yeah, but if you take it easy against her and she scores on you, you're a loser. You can't win, right? You're like you're, you're screwed. You know, how do you how do you play someone um, you know of the opposite gender in today's 2024 world? What's acceptable? Please give me a a, a book here on instructions. What's not, uh, you know? <laughs> For my own brand, I'm not touching this, man. Let's go on to the rookie stuff. So 